In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how Mongoose OS works with AWS Device Shadows. Here I have ESP32 board connected to my computer. First, let me install Mongoose OS on this board. Start MOS utility. And install Mongoose OS. Flash ESP32 firmware. Then set up Wi-Fi. Then provision on AWS IoT. Choose AWS IoT, choose your region, AWS policy, and click Next. Okay, now this ESP32 board has Mongoose OS installed on it and is provisioned on AWS IoT. Click on Start Prototyping and open init.js. Now switch to the documentation and search for AWS API. Here it is at the end, click on AWS, copy this example, and paste it into init.js file, and click on Save and Reboot Device. Now let's see what this example does. So first, the device state is expressed by this JavaScript object, state, with two keys on and off, and some counter. It's just an example. And then we use two functions. First is setStateHandler. This function is called on certain events, like when we're connected to AWS Cloud, AWS Shadow Connected. In this case, we send the current recorded device state to the cloud to let the cloud know what state we are at. And when somebody wants to change the state, the cloud send us update delta event. We go and apply the requested state to our state variable, and then we report back to the cloud about the updated state. Also, we register a button handler, and when we click on the flash button, we command the cloud to change the device state by increasing the counter number. So after that, the cloud should calculate that the counter number should change and will send us the update delta event. So let's see how it works. Uh, let me open the AWS IoT console here. Click on the registry, things, and let me find the thing that is associated with my board. So here I search for the device ID. It ends with... Uh, 45C, and here it is. So this is my device, and I click on Shadow, and here it is. Uh, this is this is the device shadow state. So uh, let me click on the button, and the button click updates the counter on to one. Uh, the cloud sends the command to the state handler which in return updates the state. So let's see how it works again. So I click on a button and then the desired state updates first. The cloud sends the update delta command to the handler and then the handler updates the reported state. So this is why we see here is that the desired state and a reported state are kept in sync. So uh, let's use this editor to change the on setting in the state. So click on edit here and change on false to true. And click save. And you can see in the log that, that the update handler has changed its state to true. So this is it. Please click on like if you like this video. Thank you and see you later.